Good morning. It's Friday, April 8th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Be the Change, and our scripture is Numbers chapter 23. God is not a man, so he does not lie. He is not human, so he does not change his mind. Has he ever spoken and failed to act? Has he ever promised and not carried it through? Every time I turn around these days, the word change invades my hearing or seeing and presses my nausea gland. I suppose it's a knee jerk, some visceral repugnancy to another less than thought out what it means mantra being paraded as some moral high ground when in all probability it's just another foolish mantra spawned by somebody's social engineering agenda to gain a few more hits on social media low territory. Be the change is presumably intended to... uh, change our minds with some inspired thinking that reframes and reshapes the future to agree with a group's or even a single person's moral outrage. It takes minor deficiencies in the behavior of a previous generation and exchanges them for a new set of equally, if not greater, flawed social, moral, or economic sociological preferences. Now, I'm not against change. Indeed, every sermon I preach calls for it. Conversely, invoking the change mantra because the newest idea needs an emotional hanger to start a revolution is hardly more than self-aggrandizing sociological rearranging. Simply put, it's a matter of tearing down what has been because that is a quick way to get one's way. It's what happens in the nursery when that other kid has something that you want. Framing a mantra for that would be, he or she has it, I don't, and that's not fair. I believe that was Cain's motive concerning Abel. So, if we are not to replicate Cain's flawed and detestable behavior, perhaps we ought to hold up the creepy, crawly ugliness of it to the light. That is the way to make bugs of the night scatter, isn't it? And how shall we do that? How shall we put change back into its rightful place? I believe it starts with listening to our Creator, the one who changed everything, or more accurately, changed nothing into everything. God inspired the Apostle Paul to put it this way in Romans chapter 12. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. The whole notion of change, given from the author of life, begins with our transformation from those who prefer darkness to becoming persons who are light-bearing, will-of-God-seeking lovers of truth. And when there's nothing more important than God's truth, the prospect of being set free from old lies and new ones alike becomes more than a possibility. It's a done deal. For you today, being change is a step down from that for which you were created. After all, isn't change what you have left over after the whole has been dismembered? So, is it be the change for you or be transformed? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.